Hi, so we're gonna do this little light update, um, some questions and answers, and then we'll bring some more um, role play scenarios, veterinary related later. <laughs> um, so first, we're gonna talk about day seven of the COVID-19 quarantine update. So far, nobody's sick, mm. so that's good. We've been stuck in our house other than going to work. Um, <laughs> but we have a little bit of tragedy oh, to yeah. announce. Um, we're out of cheese balls. Not a one left. No, they were delicious. I went to the store today and there were none. All out. Couldn't find them. So anyway, now we've gotten past that tragedy, I guess we'll just have to eat corn chips. Because corn is way better than potatoes. Um, protein. What? It's got protein in it. Corn has protein. Potatoes don't. Okay, so we're going to answer your questions. If Tony knows me or not. I mean, he knows me. We've been together for like, what, 19 years? Yeah, 19 years. 19 years. Hopefully I can get some of these right. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. All so right. he's going to ask the question. I'm going to write down my answer. And then we're going to see if he's right. All right. So question number one. If Emily had a time machine, would she go back to the past or to the future? Uh, it's easy. She would go to the future. The past is terrible. Who would want to go? <laughs> what does that say? Past? No, past is terrible. Okay. It's always better in the future. If I could guarantee my safety, mm -hmm. I would go back to see what the dinosaurs look like because I am absolutely convinced that we have what they look like wrong. <laughs> Nothing about the way that we have them depicted makes any sense. So I just want to see what the dinosaurs actually look like, but I would have to guarantee my safety. What if you couldn't guarantee your safety? Well, then I wouldn't go anywhere. The future could be just as dangerous. Like a dystopian thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Six months from now. I'm have you not read that. The Time Machine? It's terrible. All right. So, uh, got that one wrong. A little bit surprising. It's I a think, new yeah. answer. I've, I've, I've become obsessed with what dinosaurs probably really looked like, even though I'm probably as far from an expert as you could be. <laughs> All right. So, uh, question number two. If Emily had three wishes, what would her wishes be? Um, her wishes would be... Hang on, I have to write them. Oh, well, I'm going to talk while you write. Okay. Um, for world peace, for everybody to be happy, that kind of thing, that'd be wish number one. Um, wish number two would be for, like, uh, happiness for our kids, safety for our kids, our kids grow up and have a good, full life. And wish number three, um, contentment in her life, that, that, that she always is uh, content and happy with her life. All right, let's see how far, how far off I was. Are you ready? Yes. All right, what do you got? Everyone knows the first wish is you wish for more wishes. <laughs> it's not allowed. You didn't say one allowed. It's true. So the next one I would be with everyone's nice to each other. Got that one. With respect. Um, and the last one would be for the kids and Tony to have happy, to be happy and healthy long after I'm gone. Pretty much got that one too. All right. Two for three, but the first one's kind of a cheat. All right. Wasn't in the rules. What would Emily, what is one thing Emily would change about Tony? That one's easy. Uh, she would change, she, she thinks I'm stubborn and she would change that. Because apparently I am stubborn. I, I don't think that I am, but uh, actually that's not true. I am stubborn. Yeah, I, okay. I, I admit it. I have a problem. I think this has something to do with your stubbornness. Oh. What do I... Motivation to self-improve. I'm already fantastic. What do I mean? Well, you, you, you easily get downtrodden. So you'll, he'll try something new. And if he's not immediately amazing at it, he's like, it's not worth trying. It's not worth doing. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's one thing I would change. But I think it has to let me do with your stubbornness. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Question number four. Emily's most difficult case. Um, 
Like she's, by the week? She's had a lot of them. I like just difficult case. Um I'm gonna say like most like intensive case that, that we brought this guy home. Uh, I'm gonna go with Winston. The odds were against her. Uh, she worked very hard. She did a lot of research. Took the pig home. Um, but he lived. And he lived. So when it's still, still difficult. difficult. But the most difficult cases I think I see are ones where ones that don't I try really hard and put all of my effort into it and it still ends up dying. Those know. are the hardest. Well, like emotionally, but this is just difficult. Like, non, I don't know. They didn't specify the question. That's true. So uh, we'll, we'll call that one a wash. All right. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Where were Emily's grandparents born? So I didn't know this. So I had to look it up. I'm going to say they were born, all four of them, in Abbeville, Georgia. <laughs> There were two families in Abbeville, Georgia, and they married and united the, the two clans of South Georgia. That's not true. That's my guess. Um, and uh, so what, what do you got? Oh, you remember. She, she's got to write it all down. That was the rules. I'm already done. You can just tell them. But this one, I, I didn't know. And my mom told me these, and I don't remember the answers to all of them. None of them were in Abbeville. Oh. So my maternal grandmother was born in North Carolina. Maternal grandfather in Georgia. Uh, paternal grandma in Georgia. And paternal grandpa in Georgia. So I basically got three out of four right, because Abbeville is in Georgia. So, but they were not, it wasn't like you were describing earlier today where there's just one branch of the family tree. Well, no, there were two. We have some North Carolinians in us. They came together. All right. So uh, what is one of the, what is the grossest thing about being a vet for Emily? I'm going to say maggots. Maggots and like uh, cats, they, they, they come in. Hey, got that one right. Because it's pretty gross. Gotta dig those things out. The one time I nearly vomited as a vet, I was pregnant, so that didn't help. Um, I was cleaning a horse sheath, and I luckily, luckily, I put on a, um, a rectal sleeve to cover my entire arm and went up to start cleaning his sheath and had to go deep because he wasn't dropping his penis. And when I pulled my arm out, my whole arm was wriggling with <laughs> maggots. I nearly lost it. All right. What movie makes Emily cry? Almost all of them. She's very sensitive. Um, there, there's not one movie in particular. If there's death, if there's violence, she's going to cry. Simple as that. Anything with violence or child endangerment. I can't watch Walking Dead. We tried, and I had to have two or three drinks just to get through an episode. It was probably better for my anxiety not to watch that show. All right. Emily's, what is Emily's dream vacation? Whatever I plan. Emily's not a, a vacation planner. And right now, uh, my, my dream vacation is Ireland. So I don't go with Ireland. Although, I guess really her dream vacation would probably be the beach. Just going to the beach. Hanging out on the sand, playing in the water. What does it say? Horseback riding Horseback across riding. the country. Oh. Ireland would be nice. Yeah, see, you can do that in Ireland. We could go. Oh, they have this one thing where you can um, ride horses like a pub crawl. That's perfect. Yeah. Let's sign up right now. Right. So one of my friends did it. So you just ride horses across Ireland's countryside and stop at different towns and drink. It's a win-win. I mean, you don't ride drunk. That would be irresponsible. No, of course not. You just ride when I know her. Uh, all right. What is Emily's biggest fear? Uh, superficially, sharks and alligators. She's terrified of both. Um, not superficially, losing the children. That would be Emily's biggest fear. Some sort of death to... Th what does it say? Eaten by a shark or alligator. Hey! We went superficial. 
everyone knows that losing your loved ones would be your worst. Yeah, of course. Uh, what is Emily's shoe size? 10. I think she wears a size 10. I got big old Six, feet. 16? No, it's a 10. I oh. was trying to write it quickly because you're answering it so fast. Yeah, I was right. All right, so how? So my sister's like, sorry. No. My sister's like an inch taller than me, but has smaller feet. I've got these big old feet. And whenever the skinny jeans came out, I tried them on and I looked like I could be going diving. I looked like I just needed a snorkel and I'd be ready to go. So skinny jeans are not for me. Big footed woman. <laughs> All right, how would Emily spend $1 million? We'd buy a bigger car. Because it's hard to fit all of our children in the Subaru Crosstrek. Um, we would pay off our house, put a little bit to savings, and I think she'd also donate quite a bit of it. I think she would donate to reputable charities, to animal shelters, that kind of thing. I, I think that's how she would she would spend a million dollars. Um, maybe a uh, horseback ride through the Ireland countryside would be in there. But other than that. Savings, college funds, and St. Jude Children's Hospital. Because I couldn't imagine having a child sick yeah. and not being able to afford their care. I think I got, I think I got that one, right? You're That's pretty close. Pretty much. All right. What do I like most about Emily? Hang on, I have to answer this first. All right. Yeah, think about it for a minute. Of course, I have to think about it. There's so many things to like. I'm just kidding. Everything. No, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Well, I mean, I gotta think about it. Um. All right. I'm, okay. Tell me when you're ready for me to answer. I don't know how to spell this word. H e a r t. That's how you spell it. Okay. Go for it. Um, Emily's got a big heart. Uh, she, she cares very much for everything, for a lot of things. Um, and I think that's what I like the most about her. I also saw the board, so that's silliness. I think that's how you spell it. And she is, I mean, she's great to be around. She's always fun. For the most part. Yeah, I mean, we're not always fun, but... You're, in general, very, very fun, very wonderful to be around. All right. Desert island situation. Choose one food. Cheese balls. <laughs> We're out of cheese balls. That's the first thing we finished. Pizza. No, we have pizza. We still have wait, pizza. Wait, wait. Is pizza considered more than one food? No, pizza is a food. But, I mean, It's comprised got... of many foods, but it's still one Do food. I have, like, my choice of toppings? Could I have? Three toppings. Three toppings. Okay. Limited, yeah, I mean, okay. you can't go crazy. Okay. I can't yeah. be like, I want salmon and steak and shrimp. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. No. Like normal pizza toppings. Yeah. Pizza. Pizza would have been my second guess. Cheese balls would get old. At least the pizza, I could pick it apart and like enjoy separate parts of it separately. Yeah, but I mean, you've been on a big cheese ball kick lately. I'm talking like right now. I think your um, food would be cheese ball. But in general, your favorite food is pizza. Mm -hmm. All right. Will Emily write a book? No. No, I don't think she will. <laughs> All right. Wait. I don't have the patience. Yeah. What is Emily's favorite band? Or would you like to stand out to answer this one? It's Jukebox the Ghost. Ah! We saw them several times in Athens and then again in Michigan. Um, they're a great band. If you haven't seen them, check them out. They're, they're really good. They're really good. Would you like to plug them real quick? Um, to me, they're like modern Beatles. Uh, on, on not one of their well, all their their songs are all different. They have an eclectic mix of songs. They have anything from like classical piano music to into the world <laughs> death music. That's not death music. It's not no, like metal or no. anything. But yeah, uh, different sounds. They cover a wide range of topics. Yeah, check them out. All right. Does Emily want another baby? The answer is no. Also, I can't. We can't. I've been Problem. fixed. Problem solved. All right. What does Emily like most about Tony? I have no idea. 
Um, I have to change my answer. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm nice. Kind of funny. Uh, I don't know. What do you like about me? Your desire to always make me happy. There we go. That is the one thing I want to do more than anything else. Is make me happy. That's what you look for in a man, ladies. What is Emily's most annoying habit? Also, what is Tony's most annoying habit? Let's start with Emily's. Emily's most annoying habit is the weird uh, throat sound that she <laughs> makes. <laughs> so we're not going deep. We're going shallow then. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, most annoying habit is a shallow thing. The throat noise. <laughs> throat noise. You want to do it for the people? I'm scratching my throat. She does it a lot. Um, that's not what she's writing down. I bet he hates that I like to pick at his face. He gets really big like his. <laughs> and he won't touch them, and they look like strawberry seeds just sitting on the edge of his nose, and he won't let me touch them. <laughs> All right, uh, Tony's most annoying habit. Hang on, I gotta think. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm picking my feet, maybe? I don't know. Is that it? Pick toenails? Yep. He picks his toenails and then leaves the toenails in the car. Not often. For that, me to find. That has happened. It's disgusting. <laughs> All right. Um, Emily's ideal date. What is Emily's ideal date? Emily's Jan ideal date. April 22nd. <laughs> Not too cold, not too hot. No, you need is a light jacket. Perfect. Best date in the all year. All right. Uh, so, perfect date. Yep. Emily's perfect date, I would think, would be if I bought Totino's pizza, bottle of wine, and took the kids. Ooh. That's not good. Is that what you're going to write? I mean, I've already said it, so you need to go ahead and all right, write it down. More good time. It's canceled. I know it's canceled, but it's still my ideal date. Concert? I think it was Williamsburg, wasn't it? Uh, I think so. Something like Williamsburg. But you box the ghost and a night in a hotel with no kids. But it got canceled because of the virus. Yeah, we were going to do that for your birthday. But uh, thanks a lot, virus. All right. Well, I guess if, if that's the worst that happens, then that's pretty good. We'll I mean, be thankful. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, which pet would Emily like to have for the rest of her life? And I, I'm assuming specific it's specific like pet. Specific or pet. Like species. I'm I'm thinking specific pet of all the pets that we've had. Which one would you like to have for the rest of your life? And it is your horse Ginger. Yes, she was the best. She was the best. Miss her. Yeah. She's the horse that I read Road to Victory, if you read that oh, yeah. that story. Yeah. yeah. She was fantastic. She's bomb proof. You could get on I could get on her. I could run out to the field, jump on her bareback with no no bridle, nothing, and just like ride her back to the barn. <laughs> she was perfect. And she was super great. All right, and last but not least, um, what did Emily most admire about Dr. Pole? So um, what my guess is, is that, um, I don't, I don't know how much this made the show, but Dr. Poe was very, he was like a very sensitive grandfatherly type of person every once in a while. When Emily told him that she was pregnant, he cried. He was always very sweet with the kids. I think that's what I most admired. And so I'm guessing that's what she most admired about him. Um, so yeah, what is your answer? He had a great understanding of family life. He really um, did. He really did. He didn't have to, but he gave me paid time off for my maternity leave. He gave me time to go pump when I needed to pump. Um, he was always extremely good at um, giving me what I needed to be a mom. So yeah, there we have it. I don't remember the tally. I have no idea how many I got right. I would say 60%. Yeah, close. I was close on most of them. So anyway. And um, I tend to just change my answers day to day anyway. It's hard to keep up with me. It really is. All right. So 
All right, we'll see you back next time with the next update or whatever we do next. We're going to do some more um, scenarios with the vet world. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.